We have an incredible unmet need in the salvage setting for colorectal cancer patients. While people get benefit with cytotoxic chemotherapy, median survival has really stagnated at about three years. And the current um, drugs that we have, um, such as regorafenib or TAS-102, which are approved, um, have modest benefit. Um, immunotherapies in the 97% of patients who have um, proficient DNA mismatch repair have not been particularly helpful. So there's a large, um, you know, large um, effort to try to bring the immunotherapy revolution to colorectal, to colorectal cancer, particularly in the metastatic se setting, particularly in the 97%. So the trial I'm going to talk about today is the Stellar 303 trial. Um, this is a large international randomized trial with a drug that used to be called XL092, which is now called Zanzalintinib, and it's a multi-targeted tyrosine kinase inhibitor that inhibits a number of immunosuppressive pathways um, in combination with the PDL1 um, um, antibody, atezolizumab. This is a large randomized trial against standard of care regorafenib. Um, the, there have been a number of smaller trials which have shown um, activity of the combination of either zanzalintinib or the very similar drug cabozantinib together with um, checkpoint inhibitors in metastatic colorectal cancer. Um, this is building on that. In addition, um, there have been trials with a drug called regorafenib, which is also a tyrosine kinase inhibitor that may not hit the same um, immunosuppressive pathways, but even that in combination with an immune checkpoint inhibitor showed some activity. So this large randomized trial, um, we're looking specifically at patients who are RAS wild type, though, we're, though there's a separate cohort for patients who have a RAS mutation. It's currently open, it's international, it is also opened in the United States, and we're, we're, we're very hopeful that this will kind of break the log jam and help our patients who really truly have an unmet need.